at the time when I found out I wasn't going to be allowed back on set, I, I, I did have a, a bit of a breakdown. I cried for a few days. Hello, Jody Harsh here. Welcome to Tea Time with Attitude Magazine, a weekly show where I'll be spilling the freshly brewed tea with each eliminated queen from RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Today, I'm joined by Veronica Green. Hey, Veronica. Hi, Jody. How are you doing? Really good. Um, a few months on from your untimely exit from the competition, how are you feeling? I'm feeling quite good now. I, I, yeah. Watching it back, I was I was kind of like covering my eyes, doing that thing of oh, I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch it. But then once yeah. the moment passed, I was like, oh gosh, that went by a lot faster than I thought it was going to. So at the time when I found out I wasn't going to be allowed back on set, I I, I did have a, a bit of a breakdown. I cried for a few days. But you know, I'm I'm a positive person, <laughs> and I, I picked myself up and and carry on eventually you know were you allowed to keep in touch with other queens during lockdown so we were told that we weren't supposed to but i i snuck off to tears when we were allowed to mix households again for that short period in the summer so uh, so me and tia had a you good didn't talk about the show of course you didn't talk about the show no, of all. course we did not talk about the show at all no um, to be yeah. honest we we didn't really talk about the show we we, we had we, we wanted to become friends and, and learn about each other because we want to work with each other outside of the show now, for sure. Can't wait to see that. And we saw the queens in the workroom uh, voting to replace you. Were you happy with their choice? Yeah, I mean, ultimately, you could have picked any of the three. And I think, I think people are going to be upset and happy either way. Every mm. single one of those competitors could, could, could go back in and compete. Who would you have voted back in? I would have voted for Joe as well. Okay. That, that would yeah. have been my choice, yeah. Do you think, I interviewed Ginny Lemon last week. Do you think she would regret walking off the show at all? I don't think she regrets it at all. I think, un unless, she's, unless she's said it herself, I think she knew what she wanted to do and what she wanted to achieve. And she, and she did that. You know, she, she had different motivations for entering the competition than somebody like me. So when she did what she did, I, I had a, a different reaction because my head was in a different, a different place. But I think, I think she, it was a great moment, fantastic moment. And Rue's given you a golden ticket to re-enter the show next season. So are you gonna, I'm assuming you're taking that ticket. <laughs> well, you can assume all you like. I've got a few more days to make my decision and I'm gonna leave them waiting to the last right. second. <laughs> what did you learn from your experience? Um, and what will, you, what will you take through with you to the next season? Okay, well, what I learned the most was that, so I know that I struggle with seeking approval from my peers. That's mm. something that I've battled with since childhood, you know, going through rejection and in my wow. career and as a kid being, being bullied and all of that kind of stuff that comes with being clear. Mm -hmm. um, you just want to be loved by people. And, and sometimes that, that side of me came out that I, I don't regret it because it's a human it's a human nature thing, but it's something that I don't need. I don't need approval from people. Um, so I, I, I think moving forwards, it's something I need to really keep in check. What did you think of Sister Sister's alleged stealing of the Horus Fish and Chips look? Speaking about last <laughs> night's episode. That was blooming hilarious, that was. I mean, hey, if a horror came in with that look straight away and you don't remember seeing it, that has gone into your brain subliminally. Yeah, <laughs> you know, the the one thing that happened between me and sister is that when I said to her, "Oh, you've thrown me off," I don't remember saying that to her at all, and I swore blind until seeing it on screen for myself that I ever said that. So I can relate. I can totally relate where you think you've done or said something completely differently. I'm sure yeah. that she. I'm sure that it's just entered her mind subliminally. And then, yeah. and then she thought, oh, this is a great idea, not knowing where the inspiration came from. Yeah. There seemed to be a lot of tension um, mounting between you and some of the other queens before your exit. Um, I think Tace <laughs> called you cocky at the start of this week's episode. She called me a cocky slag and I'm going to wear that as a badge of honour. <laughs> I'm seeing merch, right? A cocky slag. Oh, absolutely, cocky slag. Yeah. 
Hey, Vinegar Strokes yeah. is uh, one of my best friends and she's a total slag, so I will be a cocky slag moving forward. Oh, I'm buying that t-shirt, 100%. Yeah. Um, we, also <laughs> <Thanks> saw, <laughs> we also saw Sister Sister say that Veronica's Drag Race would be really boring. Um, what's your response to that? My response to that is if you're, if you're coining Veronica's Drag Race and not Sister Sister's Drag Race, who's uh, more interesting? Oh. Yeah. Ooh, that's, a, that's a little read, I think. I think we'll leave it there. I can't wait to see more of you. Thank you so much for coming on and chatting to us today. No, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. See you later. Thanks for watching Tea Time, served to you by Attitude Magazine. Tune in next week for another cup of scolding hot content with me, as I'm joined by the latest queen to be given the chop from Ripple Shy Grace UK. See you then. Like, comment and share the video with your best squirrel friends.